Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the Noble Strength Channel. My name is Audrey. I hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the world. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a collective fall essentials haul. I didn't know really what to title this, but I needed to uh, kind of refresh my closet. I purged my closet and got rid of some old things that, you know, had gotten, you know, a lot of wear, but I needed to update my closet and bring in some more trendier things and just some things that would be perfect for fall so i did a little bit of online shopping took advantage of some of the sales that were out there now i would not say that these deals that i got are necessarily thrifty deals but nonetheless they are deals so we're going to be looking at things that i picked up from tori birch some things that i picked up from uh, this online ladies boutique called commence which i learned about on instagram maybe a couple of years ago and then some things i picked up from kroger and h m so if you're into fashion and you want some inspiration for the fall then definitely stick around like and subscribe and click that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload more videos so let's just go ahead and jump right into it we're going to start out with the things that i picked up from tori birch now tori birch i love this designer um I remember probably back in the mid 2000s, everybody was Tory Burch, Tory Burch. And I, I'm not a person who's big into brands, believe it or not, but I was like, what's the big deal about Tory Burch? But I think I picked up my first Tory Burch um, item secondhand. And I was like, wow, these are some really quality pieces. They were shoes, I believe. And so anyway, the first time that I purchased from Tory Burch, brand new online i was smitten and uh, from then on i've been shopping tori birch ever since she just has quality items and if you're into timeless and quality then tori birch definitely is the way to go i would say that she's a mid-range luxury brand definitely a luxury brand more of a contemporary luxury brand and i would say she's along there with say maybe michael kors and uh coach but you guys love, love, love her items. So she was having a fall sale where you could get 30% off if you spent a certain amount of money or 20% off if you spent a certain amount. So I picked up these cute little strappy shoes. Well, they're ankle shoes. These are so adorable. These are a nice patent leather, kind of like a wrinkly textured patent leather heel. What I love about this shoe is that it has a three and a half inch height heel, which is the perfect heel height for me. At the age that I am now, this is like perfect. It's not too high and you know, it's, it gives your leg just enough height to you know create that nice little curve there in the calf but i just love her she's really into you know details i like the tori and birch branding there and this is just a really comfortable shoe now this shoe got five star ratings on the site across the board and whenever i see five stars and no bad comments that lets me know that that's definitely a pretty uh popular a comfortable shoe in the sense because most of the times if there is a low rating it's because the shoe is uncomfortable it's not good quality so to get five stars comfort and quality is definitely um, the option so I did pick these up and I just think these would be great for dressing up and just yeah really really cute and black you can wear year-round and in Georgia with the temperatures that we have I could rock these well into December because the weather you can never judge what the weather is gonna be here so right now it's like in the 80s it's beautiful it's sunny so definitely can get some wear and the name of this shoe is called the Roost Heel Sandal it's a 85 millimeter heel and it's crinkled patent leather. I did get it in a size 10 based on what I read in the comments. And that's what I love about when people do reviews, you can read how they talk about the fit. So most people say that um, they got their size or they sized up depending on your foot. If you have a narrow foot, then stick with your regular shoe shot size. If you have a regular, to wide foot you might want to go up so i did size up to a size 10 i typically wear a nine and a half and i did that with all the shoes that i got and i'm so glad i did because they all fit 
perfectly. All right, so the next shoe that I picked up is this classic loafer. It's in goat leather. Now, I definitely think a loafer is a fall essential. And so I've been wanting to get a really nice loafer for the fall and something that's gonna last me the rest of my life. And Tory Burch has that, like I said, that quality. So I picked up this classic loafer. You guys, it's in the goat's leather. It's so beautiful. It says, uh, perfect black is the color. Classic loafer goat leather. And like I said, I got it in the size 10. I love that kind of scalloped edge right there. It has a leather bottom, a leather sock, and a leather out or so. And the same with the pump as well. That's what another thing I love about Tori Burch. She has all leather shoes, sole, and you know, for the most part, her uh, shoes are, and she does have exceptions like her little ballet flats may sometimes have a rubber sole, but these are leather. And I love that detailing on the front. And this shoe is super comfortable, super soft, molds to your foot. The minute you put it on, it fits like a glove. It's so, so comfortable. As you can see on the split screen uh, next to me, it fits perfectly fine. And these are just a happy, happy purchase. I'm glad that I got them. Yes, I splurged a bit because the black ones were not on sale. They were not included in that 30% off, but I guess because it's a classic color and it's like a color for year round but I went ahead and splurged because I knew I was gonna get my money's worth out of this shoe um, just in this coming season alone. So I did pick those up and I like those so much that I also got them in guess what other color. Yes, you're right, I picked them up in red. So same uh, design, this is called Crimson Red Classic Loafer Patent Leather. So I got it in the patent leather red, guys. Oh, just so super rich and gorgeous. And I just love them. Once again, leather sole, beautiful, nice, malleable, soft leather, leather sock. Love that detailing. So I did pick these up and like I say, they fit like a dream. So if you're looking for a cute, comfortable, classic loafer, then this is definitely the way to go. Um, no, I am not, uh, this is not a sponsored video, guys. This is just me uh, doing what I love to do, which is shop. And I love fashion and I like sharing when I get a nice quality piece and something that you know, has a little bit of a deal. So the red ones were included in the fall sale. So I did get some money off on those. And those are all the shoes that I picked up from Tory Burch. Now we're gonna step over to the clothing rack to see what I picked up from Commence, Kroger, and H&M. All right, guys, so let me show you what I picked up from this online boutique called Commence. They specialize in ladies, attire kind of trendy items and i've shopped from them before and i really love the things that i picked up from them they're good quality great prices they're a step up from shein and a step up from places like fashion nova the materials and the quality of the items are better in my opinion so let me go ahead and share with you what i picked up this First one is a nice singular button cardigan. Love the weight of it. I'm gonna talk about the feel of the fabric a lot because I cannot say enough good things about the quality and weight of the fabric. And this just feels so, so good. And this is a nice blend. It's weighty, it's stretchy. And I love that gold button detailing that it has there. And it just has two snaps behind it. And I can think of a million ways to style this. So you know I love black and I buy a lot of black because it's easy to mix and match black. You can wear it a lot of different ways. It's easy to add a pop of color if you wanna add a pop of color, but definitely an essential in your closet would be a black cardigan. So I decided to go with that one cause it has a little bit more stylish quality about it. All right, so the next item that I picked up is this black 
faux leather uh, skirt with a combination of a kind of semi sheer pleated bottom. I love that contrast of feminine and edgy. You could just wear this so many different ways. Now, all of the sizes that I picked up from Commence are a size large. Based on their sizing chart, a size 8, 10 would be a large. And this size, I could have done better with a six. It fits a little loose. I have a short torso and my waist is kind of high up. So my waist is here, right here. This is the smallest part, like a little bit above my navel is where my waist is. So I'm a little bit short torso and this does not sit at my waist. It just drops. It's very loose and uh, there's a lot of room in it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna send it back. I think I'm just gonna um, have it altered on the sides, but I love, love, love the style of this skirt. And I think it would look great with some black uh, leather boots and knee high boots and just a cute sweater would be gorgeous. All right, the next item I picked up is this skirt. This is a high-waisted skirt with a belt, and I love that it has that gusset in the middle with that pleating, just really nice and different, and I like the way it moves and swings, and the belt buckle has like a tortoise shell belt buckle, really nice, and I love a high-waisted pant or skirt. So the next item, which I definitely think is another essential, is a nice white top. This is a nice cotton and polyester blend, 65% polyester, 35% cotton. It has a nice feel, it's soft, it feels good next to the skin. I like that it's high, low, and kind of oversized, so you could wear it out or half tucked or all the way tucked, either way, and you can get a lot of looks with a nice white shirt. The next item is my favorite item out of all of the things that I purchased from Commence, which is this diamond cable knit sweater. Look at that nice diamond pattern with this nice weighted denim collar and the big buttons and pockets in the front. If you have ever owned a like a vintage old blanket that your great grandma made that has that weight to it that when you put it on you feel hugged and you feel warm that's how this feels it's just weighty you're going to be warm and you just want to wear this and have a nice bowl of soup i just love this beautiful and you could rock this with jeans with black slacks whatever all right, so almost at the end, guys, I have two cardigans. Like I said, I was really looking for sweaters and cardigans that I picked up from Kroger. This um, is the brand Justify. I picked these up in the junior section. These are some crop cardigans. I decided to get one in tan and one in gray. I could wear these unbuttoned or buttoned up either way for a nice preppy style look and they feel good, feel amazing, very soft, and these were 40% off, so these were $16 after the 40% off, which I think is a really great deal. And then next and last is this nice crop jacket that I picked up from H&M. It has a lot of stretch in it, it's nice. It kind of gives me Balmain, uh, Chanel vibes. Which one do you think it kind of is more reminiscent of? But either way, Crop jackets look great on me because I am a short torsoed woman and I just love a nice crop jacket. So I picked this one up and it's black with gold buttons so I can style it a million different ways so with things that I already have in my closet. So that is what I picked up. I definitely think cardigans are essentials, sweaters, and nice long skirts, midi skirts that you can wear with boots are fall essentials along with loafers and things of that nature. So now I'm going to style with you the items that I picked up. We'll be right back. Here are two side-by-side -side stylings of the diamond cable knit cardigan. In the first look, I'm wearing a black mock turtleneck, which is one of my fall essentials. I love a black mock turtleneck and I paired it with some jeans and these jeans I thrifted a while back. These are some Barney New York ankle cut jeans. The handbag is Louis Vuitton and the second look I switched it up and paired it with some black ankle cut H&M slacks and the black top is a asymmetrical collar top that I picked up from Commence a while back and of course in both looks I'm wearing the Tory Burch loafers. Let me know your favorite in the comments below and how would you style it? I'd love to know in this side-by-side -side styling of the black shirt I wanted to show 
this look tucked in and untucked so you can see the hemline of the shirt it hangs lower in the back it's just a very nice lightweight top that tucks in easily and I paired it with the H&M ankle cut pants and of course the Tory Burch loafers and the bag is Chanel Diana bag vintage bag and these are just two looks that are effortless and easy and classic do you prefer tucked or untucked and here is a second option for the white shirt with a skirt I love this high-waisted skirt with the belt and the pleats in the front. I paired it with the Tory Burch heels and as I said earlier, these heels are super comfortable and just the right height and the bag is by Brandon Blackwood. For the styling of this patchwork uh, pleated and leather skirt, I paired it with a black mock turtleneck, which is definitely one of my fall essentials, and some black boots by Shoots. To accessorize, I have on some gold cuff bracelets, and the bag is by Hooked by La Day. She does crochet bags, and you can find her on Instagram and online under Hooked by La Day, but this is just a classic solid sleek look and I styled that same skirt with the black cardigan with the gold button and I didn't change up anything else just changed up the top just to give you another styling option and I also wanted to show you what this cardigan looked like style with jeans which one is your favorite I guess depending on where you're going um, but I do love it with the jeans and this is what the cardigan looks like without a top underneath you do have to safety pin it if you don't want skin exposed like your stomach showing so I did pin it underneath the button as well as above because the V neckline does plunge quite a bit but here is another styling option with a shirt underneath and I paired it with jeans and the red loafers this time. This top underneath is just a plaid top that I thrifted a while back which pairs very well with this coach bag and this is just another option with a pop of color. Here is the gray cardigan that I picked up from Kroger styled with that white top. As you can see, I love a nice shirt that doesn't bulk underneath when you wear it under something else and that's what's so nice about the fabric of this white top and it tucks in well, it doesn't bunch around you because it's thin but it has a nice weight to it. So I paired it with jeans and loafers in this cute little red Brandon Blackwood bag and you can wear the cardigan with the sleeves pushed up and buttoned up or you can wear it unbuttoned. This is the length of the sleeves when you pull them down and don't have them scrunched up but I like the scrunched up look and this is what the cardigan looks like if you unbutton it. Just very preppy and cute and the cardigan has a really nice feel and weight. It's super soft, highly recommended and as I said earlier I picked up the large in juniors. Here is that same cardigan in tan paired with all black and I don't know any easier way to style black than adding a little bit of brown to it. I love brown and black together so the tan is nice and I paired this speedy with it. I think it's just a classic kind of preppy look and once again you can wear the cardigan unbuttoned as well. And this is what it looks like unbuttoned with the black mock turtleneck. Just a very simple and effortless styling of the cardigan. Here's the styling of the last black crop jacket from H&M. I did look online to see if this jacket was still available. I did not see any, but they have some other alternatives, which I'll try to leave in the link in the description box below. But I styled it with some jeans and of course the black loafers and Chanel bag. And then I added this scarf for a pop of color. Thanks Gail for all the beautiful scarves that you gifted. Now I can find ways to style them is it for this fall essentials haul i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it inspired you in case you were thinking what do i need to add 
uh, to my wardrobe for the fall. These are just some of my suggestions and I love you guys and I wish you all the best in the world. And remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you because he loves us so much. I love you too and I'll see you real soon. Bye.